All right, so Poco X review users out there, we have yet another port of MIUI 13 from the same team that is Mint BGST. This is again based on the latest weekly beta of MIUI 13. Now, this is not a review. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to install it. So expect this video to be very, very short. So before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything. And it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you think you like chatting with like-minded people, join us on Telegram. We have more than 1,500 followers you can follow us on instagram twitter and facebook and last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click the join button to support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is kalash let's get going now let's see what we have here we have Poco X3 Pro, YU and Vima. This works on YU and Vima both. This is based on Android 11, released recently on the 24th of January 2022. You do have a patch and the ROM that you have to download. So please download both of them. Ported from Redmi 90, Redmi Note 9 4G, based on Xiaomi.eu 22.1.19 weekly, decrypted by default, SE Linux enforcing, multi-languages, full RW system, debloated some apps, add, status bar styles from wolf os we will see that in the review fixed some issue and full change log now the change log is in indonesian language so we'll leave that alone includes gfs of, co of course it comes with safety net passing and don't pm the dev now what do you need to do to make sure that you have a good flash you need to have an unlocked bootloader you need to have more than 50 percent battery make sure you have backed up all the information and you do have a latest TWRP or Orange Fox recovery of your choice installed and it should be working just fine. The reason you see this cable connected is because I have the ROM and the patch on a pen drive. I'm going to wipe everything. So once again, you have been warned, make sure you back up everything on your device before you go ahead and do the flashing. Now also you need to take care of, if you are on MIUI, you need to remove your MI account. You need to remove your fingerprint, pattern, pin, face unlock, all the security. You also need to remove all your Google accounts and then you need to reboot the device once. Now, considering that you've taken care of all of those, your data is backed up, you have more than 50% battery and you have the two necessary files, let's boot into TWRP. So let's click on restart and press and hold volume up and power. Now keep it pressed till the time you see the POCO logo. Okay, now we will be entering recovery. There you have it. Okay, now allow the touch drivers to load over here. So let's go to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik, data, internal storage and cache. Now, if your files on, are on your phone's internal storage, don't wipe internal storage, that's fine. Swipe to confirm wipe, that's done. Now go to install, select storage, select the USB OTG because that's where I have the files. And let's see, MIUI Mint 22.1.19. Add more zips, MTPYU. This is for the MTP fix so that you can transfer files between your computer and a phone using the USB cable. Swipe to confirm flash. Now, as always, you have been warned, this is a MIUI ROM that we are talking about. It will not only take a very long time to flash, it will also take a long time to have the first boot done, right? And in case while booting for the first time, if you're having some issues, you just need to press and hold the power button and do a force restart. That's when it will boot into it, you know, into the ROM successfully. We will wait for the ROM to flash. And till then, please be patient, probably go and have a coffee. Let's wait for the ROM to be flashed. All right, now, as you can see, everything has been flashed. We don't really have any errors. If you fail to mount error, you can ignore that. Now go to wipe, go to format data and type in yes. Okay, now we will reboot system. Now the first boot can take anywhere between two to three minutes. So please be patient while that happens. To be on a safer side, what we will do is after about 30 seconds or a minute, we will go ahead and do a force reboot so that the ROM boots faster. Because remember the first video that I made that you guys really, really loved that did actually give me that particular issue so we will sit on the screen for say 30 seconds and then we will do a force reboot and we should be good to go okay it's been about 30 seconds so we're going to press and hold onto the power button keep it pressed till the time you see the mi logo or poco logo coming up okay now we will wait for the rom to boot up and then we should be good to go 
All right, now as you can see, just like that, we are on the setup screen for MIUI 13. We will talk about the details of this particular update in a separate video, which is the complete review. For now, this was the complete step-by-step -step guide on how to install the latest port of MIUI 13 on the POCO X3 Pro. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this port and do you want a gaming review, dedicated gaming review for this particular ROM or not? Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling, take care, goodbye.